my channel. Today, I want to talk about the time. As a student, that I got embarrassed in the ICU. Yes, straight ass embarrassed. It was the worst experience of my student career. Okay, because life happens. But, okay, let me take you guys back. So it was my second rotation. I was at this hospital that I was totally not expecting to be like busy. I don't know, who knows? Well anyways, it's a teaching hospital. Um, and so there's all of these residents everywhere. And it was literally like a scene out of Grey's Anatomy minus the fact that the doctors are not doing all the work. So. Um, I was there with another student and as a respiratory student like one thing you have to remember is everybody is your competition okay like just how nurses like they're like I seen a lot of videos of nursing students talking about how the competition they wish that it wasn't so competitive but the reality of it is is this person is up for your job this person is going for the same job that you are. So you have to show that you are alpha RT student. That way they pick you, pluck you right out of the bunch when you get, when you graduate. Okay. So anyways, so it was myself and there was another student from another school. We happened to have clinic on the same day. So I guess she had been there for her rotation prior to this rotation. So she had been there for like four months, okay? So I am the newbie coming in and she's super competitive. I'm super competitive and the RTs there seen that. So they basically like was like, okay, we're gonna put you guys together in this um, intubation um, with the attendees and um, the residents and you guys are gonna handle it all by yourself. So I was like, okay. Like in my mind, I'm like, I got this. I've done hella assists with intubations. I have, I'm not gonna have like, it's just whatever. So. Are they working outside? I'm like, I'm dominant, so I'm like, I'm going to the head of the bed. I don't give a F. You can go over there and get the vent ready. So I'm at the head of the bed. I'm getting the tube ready. I'm getting everything ready. And the, the, the resident who was intubating, this was his first time intubating ever. So of course, you know, there's like five other residents in there and he doesn't want to use like the glidoscope. The glidoscope, if you guys don't know, is a is a is a blade. Like it could be a Mac, it could be a Miller, and it has a camera at the end, so you can see the vocal cords, you can see everything, and it makes intubation so much easier. And it's one of the greatest inventions ever made. But because he was this was his first time, he wanted to do it like the real way. So he chose to go with a Mac 4 and you guys this is where it started to get bad so first of all I had went to another I had went to another intubation and we were all gowned up because like the guy splattered like it was so this time I gown up I'm full PPE down like I have like the gown, the gloves, the mask, everything, right? He's not isolation, but I mean, you should be wearing your PPE because this is an intubation. You can get like bodily fluids over on, on you, but nobody else did. That was number one. So the head resident or whatever came in and was like, is, is this the isolation room? because I guess he had got in trouble for not wearing his PPEs before. So I was like, no, it's not. And then it was just like, felt like I felt so hot. Like my body got so hot because he like called me out in front of like a whole room of people. And I was like, Ugh. I was so pissed. But I was sitting there. And like I said, I was at the head of the bed. So 
I'm at the head of the bed and I got the tube ready and everything and the other girl is bagging. So um, I'm like, okay, you know, the stats were going up. I was like, okay, whenever you're ready, I'm ready. I have the tube ready. So let me put this into perspective. So this guy is like short little guy and this is his first intubation and he didn't even take the pillow from underneath the guy's head like he was just straight up like not level with the head of the bed like i like honestly you guys like it amazes me like in school like they teach you that you need to be level with the person's head if you got to bring the bed up if you got to get down bend your ass like do something but he did it he left the pillow under there and so i was like um, doctor, I'm gonna pull the pillow from under his head. And so like the other residents kind of laugh, like, oh my God, you didn't pull the pillow, ho, 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 ho. So he's like, so irritated. So he starts, he attempts to intubate. And it's like the patient, it wasn't a cold, but he was crashing. So it was more like we were intubating for airway protection. So, he gets up there and he, he attempts to intubate and he doesn't do it. And so I was like, um, it's okay, like just pull back and redirect. You know, like I'm a student, he's a student, we're trying to learn together, nobody's helping us or teaching ourselves. Um, but I was like, just redirect, pull back and redirect. And he was like, mm-hmm. And so he pulls back, he redirects. And this is like, I'm telling you guys, I have like the worst experience with doctors with intubations. I don't know. But um, so the head resident was like, oh my gosh, like you're terrible. Like this is all in like this room. So anyways, she steps in, she intubates and they like walk out. This is where it got so embarrassing and like I was so frustrated and annoyed and I wanted to leave so like I said the RTs who are preceptors are at the door me and the other student are in the room we're trying to get like him connected to the van and the settings and everything and so we connect into the vent I got the settings in there everything is hooked up right and so I look at the vent and I see that there's no tidal volume. So I was like, oh shoot, where's the leak? So I'm like following the circuit down to see where this leak is coming from. And then so we're like looking and they're at the door like looking at us like cracking up. So that like pissed me off. I'm like, what, like, what are you laughing at? Like, how could you be laughing at this right now? So me and her are looking and finally, if you guys have ever seen like the Ballard, the Ballard for a ventilator has like a, a piece that has like a little, like, like a little piece that like keeps the air in basically. Okay. So that piece had popped off and they seen it. One of the artists picked it up, put it in his pocket, didn't say anything, which was so immature. But so then we see it. And so like on the bed, there were like um, saline flush syringe tops. And so it looked, it looked similar to the piece that was missing. So the other student was like, oh look, here it is. So she puts it in there and it goes sucked up in there. And I was like, oh my gosh. So I was like, oh my gosh, I'm just gonna like cover it. I'm gonna cover it and then you will get another ballot. That way we don't lose all of our title volume. Uh, you know, or bag, like, in the moment, I was like, I'm just going to cover it. I should have just bagged, but I was a student. We live and we learn. So, they're at the door, and I'm telling you guys, they are cracking up. And we are both like, because we're perfectionists. We really were. She was a really great student, and, like, she, I would be honored to work with her side by side with her. She was very smart. But in that moment in time, it was the worst experience 
ever. They sat at the door and they like laughed at us. And I remember walking out of that intubation being like, I hate you all. <laughs> like, I hope you guys never come across me ever again because you guys are terrible people. And I remember sitting in there and feeling like a failure. You know what I mean? For something that they thought was funny, but I was like, this is not funny at all. This is the most embarrassing thing in my life. It's not. But it felt like that in the moment because, you know, school and this is one of the most important things and making a good impression because the respiratory community is super small. You just want to make sure that you make a good impression. So I remember sitting there, we were in the department and I kid you not, like I could feel like the tears swelling up in my eyes. And I was like, don't cry, bitch, don't cry, don't cry, don't cry, don't cry. Don't cry. And they're like, it's okay, we were joking. And I was just like, it's just not funny. Like, this is like, what? Like, honestly, it, it felt in the moment, it felt like the most, like, the worst experience ever. It really did. But honestly, like, we got over it. We lived. Moral of the story, it's okay as a student to make mistakes. You're going to make mistakes. Um, people are going to laugh at you. Doctors are going to laugh at you. Patients are going to laugh at you. Get over it. It's a part of medicine. It's practice. The practice of medicine. And I'm hella tired, but I wanted to make a video before I went to sleep. So, good night, guys. I will see you in my next.